Welcome back to Kermode Uncut. A week or so ago, I did a blog about the simultaneous release strategy of Ben Wheatley's new film, A Field in England, which I really, really liked. Some people didn't, but I really did. And the film was released simultaneously in cinemas, on television, on download, on DVD and Blu-ray. You could choose how to see it. I think one of the cast was on the radio saying, you won't be able to avoid it. You'll absolutely have to see it. But you can choose the format that you get to see it in. And I was saying, if you saw it, where did you see it? Did you pay to go and see it in the cinema? Did you buy the Blu-ray? Did you watch it? for free on television. Lots of responses, and I think generally positive. Here are just a few. This from MG1889. Well, it worked for me as a release strategy. I wanted to see this film, but like others, work and family commitments meant I was unable to get to any cinema that would show it, which wasn't many in any event. So I bought a copy this afternoon, and I'm just setting up to watch it right now. This from Nexkez6. Can we have names that I can read out easily? Saw the movie on TV, it was the same as many people, no local cinema was showing it. However, it seems to me to be a film that would reward another watch, so I would now pay to go and see it at the cinema if it comes around. This is very positive, I think, because one of the ideas was, you know, just because people can watch it at home doesn't mean they will stay away from the cinema. People are able to make the choice. I know several people who've seen it, saw it on television, said, actually, I now want to see it on the big screen. There are some plans, incidentally, to show the film in fields at festivals. So a field in England, in a field in England. Boom tish, here all week. Here's another comment. My nearest cinema showing a field in England is over 30 miles away, Cambridge Arts. So it wasn't really viable for me to see it theatrically. I know I'm lucky to have one that close. Many are so much further away from independent art house cinema. That is definitely true. I mean, frankly, 30 miles to your local art house cinema is not that far. I'm in a fairly similar position where I live. So I saw the film on Film 4, or to be precise, I recorded it and watched it back the following day. In the event, I thought a field in England was a load of old tiresome tosh and I got annoyed with it very quickly, but that's beyond the scope of this blog. The interesting thing is that idea of people deciding which format they want to see. It's not to do with whether or not you love the film, it's to do with how you got to see it. And there's an interesting case of somebody couldn't get to a cinema to see it, but did sit and watch it anyway. Didn't particularly like it, but hey, didn't miss the film. Now, this question of seeing it on television and recording it is brought up by, for example, Jim Film. I love Ben Wheatley's films, and I love this film, but sorry, Dr. K, you are wrong on the piracy issue. Just to remind you, I said that essentially simultaneous releasing is the greatest weapon against piracy. Just a few hours after the release, there were pirate versions out there online. I don't think this will combat piracy. I know many will not agree with this statement, but it's a case now of accepting piracy as a way of life in the entertainment industry, and those feelings are echoed very accurately by Graphics 300. Sorry for disagreeing with you, Mark, but I think simultaneous does not solve piracy. In fact, it does just the opposite. Anyone who knows about downloading films illegally will tell you that the quicker the DVD or Blu-ray is released, the better it is for the pirates. Here's my response to that. See, in the past, the problem with the issue of tackling piracy is people have always concentrated on the pirating end of it. Let's stop people recording the films. Let's take off their mobile phones. Let, let's, let's attack that end. Whereas actually the most sensible thing is to deal with the buying end, the receiving end. There is loads of evidence that people pirate movies because they don't have access to them in other places. We've talked about this a lot on the blog. Rather than saying, let's try and stop people making pirate copies available, the really smart money is saying, let's destroy the market for piracy by just giving people exactly what they want. You want to watch the film for free? Why bother to pirate it? You can watch it for free on television. You want to buy the Blu-ray or DVD? Fine, here it is legitimately. My feeling about piracy is this. Piracy thrives because audiences are frustrated. And I know loads of you out there on the blog feel the same way. You want to see a movie, but you can't. It's not in a local cinema. It's not available on DVD or Blu-ray. You can't have access to it anywhere else. Well, a field in England addresses that problem head on. Yes, it's not a perfect solution. It's not going to stop people uploading pirated copies of the film. But you know what? It's the best solution anyone has. It is indeed the only solution to the issue of piracy. Stop worrying about what the pirates are doing. Worry more about what the audience want. Because oddly enough, the audience is on your side.